angles, specifically adjacent and vertical angles, naming angles. To be able to identify angles, it'll be a lot easier if we can name them, and then we will know which ones we're talking about. So there's many ways to name angles. Sometimes they will just put a number on the inside, and then this would be called angle 2. Sometimes they will put a letter, a capital letter, right at the vertex. In this case, it would be angle A. Finally, there are situations when there's too many angles, and if we want to talk about a specific one of these angles, let's say this top one, we would say angle, start on the outside here, A, go towards the vertex, B, because that has to be in the middle, then come back out to C. So that's angle A, B, C. Let's quickly review the easiest way to classify angles. We have angles that are less than 90. Those are going to be acute angles. Angles that are exactly 90 degrees. And that's the symbol, that little square in the corner is the symbol for 90 degree angles. And those are also called right angles. And more than 90 and less than 180 is going to be an obtuse angle. Now adjacent angles are angles that are going to be right next to each other where they're sharing one side and a vertex. The word adjacent is a pretty useful word. You can use it all the time. It just means next to. So if Jose is standing next to Jessica, he could also say, I am adjacent to Jessica. So adjacent angles are right next to each other. Angle 1 is adjacent to angle 2. They share a vertex and they share a side. So if they're right next to each other and they share a vertex and a side, they are called adjacent angles. Congruent means equal or same measure. So congruent angles are angles that are going to be exactly the same size. They have the same measure. So if you have two angles that are 30 degrees, then you would say they're equal or congruent. Vertical angles, now this one's a little weird. The word vertical doesn't really help you quite as much, but it's a very useful thing to know. Vertical angles happen when you have two lines that intersect and the two angles that are across from each other so this angle one and this angle two they're across from each other they're vertical angles and why this is really cool is that if this one's 60 degrees its vertical angle is 60 degrees also they're always going to be congruent angles. All right, so what kind of angles are shown below? Well, these two angles, they're not right next to each other. They're actually across from each other. They're vertical angles. And because they're vertical, we can automatically know that if this one's 60, then its vertical angle across from it is also 60 degrees. What kind of angles are shown below? In this case, we have two angles. There's angle Y and this angle as well. This one's 25 degrees. They are adjacent angles because they're next to each other. They share this middle side and the vertex is the same. In this case, they both add up to 90 degrees. So if you wanted to find the size of y, you could go 90 minus 25 has to be 65 degrees.